Hello students, in this video, I am going to teach how to draw a straight line by using Bresenamp's line drawing algorithm. In the previous video, we already derived the equations involved in this algorithm. In this algorithm, there are three important parts. One is finding the constant value. Second is find the initial decision parameter. Third one is predicting the next pixel values. Using this, we can easily find the intermediate pixels of the straight lines. The given problem is, digitize the line with endpoints 10,12 and 15,16 using Bresenamp's line drawing algorithm. First, explore the value x1 and y1, x2 and y2 like this. Find the constant values. Constant values are nothing but delta x and delta y value. Delta x is calculated by x2 minus x1. Delta y is calculated by y2 minus y1. And find the two delta x and two delta y values also. The next step is find the initial decision parameter that is p0 value. The formula is two delta y minus delta x. Substitute this constant value, you can get the value 5. Before calculation, we should check the condition of the Bresenamp's line drawing algorithm. The slope must be positive and the value must be less than 1. In this calculation, we can calculate from lower value to higher value. So the slope must be positive and delta x value is greater than delta y value. So the slope value is always less than 1. So we can move to the next step. First we draw the tabular column. It contains the first column as k value. k denotes the number of steps start from 0. pk is the decision parameter value. The next calculated coordinate values are represented as xk plus 1 comma yk plus 1. Finally, the next decision parameter is pk plus 1. To repeat this part at each calculation steps, I write this formula here. Then I write the starting coordinate value before the third column. We can repeat these steps up to delta x times. Here the delta x value is 5. So I write the steps. It start from 0 to 4. When k equal to 0, the p0 value that is initial decision parameter value is 5. If the decision parameter value is the positive, we can choose this formula. So the next coordinate values are calculated by incrementing both the x and y coordinate values. So we can get 11 and 13 and the next decision parameter can be calculated by previous decision parameter that is 5 plus 2 delta y minus 2 delta x. After calculating this value, I can get plus 3. This value again positive, so I can choose the same formula. So I increment the both the x and y coordinate value, so I can get 12 comma 14. For finding the next decision parameter value, the previous decision parameter 3 plus 8 minus 10. Now the result is plus 1. Again this is positive value, so I increment both the coordinate values, then I get 13 comma 15. And repeat this calculation, 1 plus 8 minus 10. Now I can get the minus 1 value. Now the value is negative, so I can choose this formula. In this formula, I increment only the x coordinate value so the next value is 14 comma 15 the next decision parameter calculated by previous decision parameter that is minus 1 plus 2 delta y 2 delta y is 8 so minus 1 plus 8 we can get 7 now the value is positive so i increment 15 comma 16 this is the end point so for this step i can stop the calculation so we calculate the intermediate pixels between starting and end point. We need to do one more step. By collecting these values, we can draw the calculated pixels in a graph. Draw this rough graph in your end of the answer. And mark x coordinate values from lower value of x and to higher value. Like this, draw the y coordinate value started from lower value and higher value. Then first mark the pixel given in the starting point that is 10 comma 12 then mark the dot as per the calculated pixels 
that is 11 comma 13 next 12 comma 14 next 13 comma 15 next 14 comma 15 and finally 15 comma 16 so after calculating these pixels you should draw this diagram then you can get the good marks in your examination try this another problem here delta x value is 10 so you need to find the 10 number of steps to reach the end point after solving this problem you can check with your answer and then finally draw this diagram you can get the straight line like this